warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. It's my great pleasure to guide us in this session. We have a special speaker who put a very big attention to mechanical research, especially human and machine interface. Let me introduce this our fabulous speaker to us. He is Professor Minoru Sasaki. Currently, he is a professor in Gibu University, Japan. Professor Minoru Sasaki was born 13 September, 64 years ago. On the same day, Dr. Andus Muhammad Hatta, the vice president of president of Indonesia, officially ran Universitas Andalas. He got his bachelor degree in Yamagata University on 1980. Then he got the bachelor and doctoral degree in Tohoku University on 1982 and 1985. Tohoku University located at Sendai City, Miyagi Prefecture. In his academic life, Professor Sasaki actually a professor in Gibu University. But he already built a long road in many institutions to do research and education. He started at, as assistant professor in Miyagi University and he became visiting professor at California University and Georgia, Georgia University. He is also a visiting professor in King Mongkut University. And finally, he has a very long story in Kenya. He already published many publications. Professor Minoru Sasaki runs some experiment in his laboratory. He already has many students from many countries. Now, personally, I know that his former students already spread around the world. Because of, his, because of his dedication for engineering education in Kenya, he, he was awarded Doctor of Engineering Honoris Causa from Dedan Kimachi University of Technology. In his academic life, Professor Sasaki actually a professor in Gifu University. He also put a big attention for foreign students in Gifu University. He loved to join student activity who, who invite him. Today, finally, we will give the time for Professor Sasaki to give a talk. The title is Robot Control System Based on Electrooculography. Sasaki Sensei, the time is yours, please. See this slide? I can. Okay. Okay. Please. Okay. I skipped. So uh, I'd like first to explain about uh, major problems faced by Japan. So uh, in Japan, aging population combined with uh, uh, diminishing number of children. So decreasing in the workforce and safe and pleasant life and the convenient and uh, affluent life. So uh, you can see, sorry, or slide in Japanese. 2005 is uh, about uh, workforce population is about 61%. Uh, and elderly people's uh, population about 20%. Uh, so that means uh, uh, supported one elderly people by uh, 3.0. 
uh, peoples. And on the other hand, uh, 2030s is the uh, uh, working force population number is decreasing and about uh, 55%. And on the other hand, six old elder people over 65 years old is about 30%. It means uh, so uh, one elderly people supported by the 1.86 peoples. So also the new affluent uh, newborn rate is decreasing every year. So uh, Marx is uh, about 1949. About a uh, new baby was born, uh, 2.7 million. But uh, current less than the 1 million. And uh, so that is very problem. So now you can see the total fertility rate is uh, this black line shows uh, Japanese in Japan, and uh, yellow line shows Korea. And uh, so most uh, Asian countries going uh, down. So, but I think in Indonesia, uh, Totally, fertility rate is over two or three, and uh, increasing population. That is very nice. But uh, in Japan, not so much uh, working force, and uh, so uh, new uh, baby was born. So also, government uh, think about how to actualize the uh, nation based on creativity in science and te technologies. So. Uh, setting strategic priority and enhancing mutual cooperation of research and development projects. So, active effort towards international standardization activities. So, this budget related to international standardizations is uh, 1.69 billion. So, Enhancement of technological transfer from universities. So budget related to research and their programs. So budget related to focus 21st century. So it's important uh, uh, fuel sectors and the general consumer electronics sectors, global sector and health and welfare sectors and environment energy sectors, nanotechnology and material sectors. So most uh, important is the robot sector and the health and welfare sectors. So it uh, uh, has a huge budget. So and uh, enhancement and compatibility of the robot industry and social needs. So this is a technological strategy. So the robot becomes something familiar to a lot of use in life and the public space. So. Enhancing and creative foreign generation market uh, for industry service, special environments. So strategy of acceleration of innovation and operation of robots. Introduce registration towards safety aspect. So robot is an integrative technology system. Robot technology has a uh, Big spillover uh, effect on medium and small companies. Yeah. So, current Ooh. state and trends of assistive technology industries. So, uh, number one, uh, possibility of assistive technology industries. So, increasing needs from welfare to well being. So, increasing the quality and efficiency from uh, activity of daily living to quality of life. In 1990, uh, United Nations decided principles for the elderly uh, people, self-support, participation, care, and uh, self-fulfillment dignities. So urgent task of efficiency supply to products and service because of increasing of uh, medical care expenditures, the elderly and welfare service for the elderly and the decreasing the population of productive age. 
So this is a uh, uh, handicapped people in Japan percentage. So over 50 percent gripped people, uh, 26.2 the mentally retired, and 9.3 is a vision impaired and something like that. So this is a requirement of welfare equipment. First is uh, uh, user friendliness. Second is safety. Third is uh, cheap. Fourth is simple. Fifth is uh, after sales service. So uh, I would like to ask about uh, uh, potential of biopotential signal interface to welfare equipment. So qualitative evaluation method of human diversity. How to communicate between the machine and the human? And uh, machine and robot has no sensor about uh, communicate between humans. So that is also problems. So how to realize the borderless world, disabled and uh, able persons? Uh, how to make an objective state estimation of the humans? So merit of uh, physiologic bio instrumentations. First is objectivity, second is uh, quantifications, third is real-time operations, fourth is continuity, fifth is non-verbal, and uh, sixth is uh, uh, vital function. So can we estimate and analyze the emotion of human by using the biopotential signals? So require technology of analysis and evaluations. So first is the instrumentations, it include the uh, electrodes, amplifiers, and uh, frequency, uh, oh, sorry. And AD converters. Next is the signal processing uh, method, analysis, spectral analysis, FFTs analysis and wavelength analysis and so on. So analysis, uh, feature measurement, statics analysis, march variable analysis, etc. Also, it has a, a huge database. So biopotential signals include, uh, for example, EOZ, EZs, EMZ, and the ECG and uh, neurological potentials. Sorry. So uh, I'd like to show you some example of uh, our previous research about pipe locomotion robot control using biopotential signals. We use a simple biopotential uh, measurement systems, like headband includes the sensors, uh, electrodes, and uh, we can detect uh, EMG, EOG, and EEG signals. So it's e this system is easy to put on and uh, take off. And uh, so, this is an uh, analysis of uh, potential signals. We uh, use a neural network for recognition of uh, uh, signals. So, also experimental system is uh, uh, operator attached the uh, uh, sensor and send the data to the PC and PC uh, sent to the uh, robot control uh, signal to, and then robot control, robot receives the control command. So this is an example of an experiment. Sorry, uh, small robot is a go forward and go backward, turn right and turn left. So uh, also, I'd like to express uh, emotional estimation by using brain waves. So this is a uh, uh, experience setup. This is a sensor helmet, and this is an analog digital conversion box. And uh, this is a processor box, include the data filter, and finally the data to the PCs. So this is uh, uh, imagination and real uh, data. So this is the uh, colored map shows the uh, imagine case of right hand moving. So this 
uh, figure shows uh, real right hand uh, data, the brainwave mapping. So this is uh, also imagine left hand and uh, real left hand motions and uh, next uh, real right toe moving and uh, imagine right toe moving and uh, also imagine left toe moving and left to real left toe uh, motions. So you can see the color difference. Uh, blue shows are not active and uh, green shows are a bit more active than uh, blue ones. And uh, red shows are most more active than uh, others. And uh, you can see the uh, mapping difference and uh, uh, some part is uh, colored red, but other case is uh, blue and green. So if we can identify the, these mapping difference, we can uh, understand the uh, human operator's operations. So this is a, a function of a cerebral cortex and the sensory mapping and the motor mapping. So you can see the, so uh, in case of motor cortex, a uh, huge areas show the face, but uh, also hand uh, area is big, but uh, very small area related to the legs. So that means, uh, so we can uh, operate, uh, think about uh, hand operation and face operation, but we are usually uh, walking, but at, at this time, uh, we are not think about how to uh, operate uh, my legs and something like that. So this is a uh, aspect uh, uh, part of the brains, uh, right legs, left legs, and right hand, left hand. So that is a, a result of motion estimations rate. Almost uh, over the 70%, 80%, and 90%. So this is a motion estimate experiment. If a uh, robot detected the uh, operator's motions and the uh, robot uh, moving same as uh, operators. Oops, sorry. So you can see the same motion of robot and uh, operators. So also the uh, robot control uh, needs uh, not not limited on off control but uh, sub controls. So this is uh, uh, only one degree of. Uh, uh, right and left motions are related to the eye movement. You can see this. So, uh, but it's a uh, uh, original uh, point is uh, difficult to match and uh, some uh, uh, difference between the uh, eyes motion and uh, uh, some motors motions. So this is uh, uh, not limited to one degree, it's extend to two degree systems. It says uh, one, two, three, and one ground. And uh, please uh, take care. So, and also the uh, proposed EOG attachment method and the uh, conventional method attached by electrodes, but uh, it's uh, every time change to the uh, accuracy of the attachment point. But if uh, making the uh, and uh, so after that, uh, Electoral position is fixed, and uh, we we can get uh, uh, data for the 
stabilized data. So this is a, uh, uh, if EOZ used for robot operation, we can uh, distinguish uh, two uh, method. One is a gaze estimation control method. The other is gaze direction control method. So gaze estimation controls are developed by the Ilhamdi, uh, Dr. Ilhamdi. He remains a, a great effort for this research. And uh, so from uh, EOGs, uh, we estimate the eye position and the uh, manipulators move to the that uh, estimated, estimated position. And uh, so also, but if use uh, EOGs and uh, only uh, one plane motions, but uh, if you change the uh, side view and top views, we can use a uh, uh, 3D uh, realize of 3D motions. And also uh, gauge direction control step by step uh, by uh, Amri, my previous doctor course students. He arrived step by step. But uh, think about uh, for robot control, we need uh, one more uh, input for control the robot hand or something. And we, we utilize that to a uh, EMG sensor on the face and uh, we detect the EMG for uh, controlling the uh, robot hand. And uh, so also uh, we should improve the transformation method. You can remember and uh, this method is uh, has a skew angle for uh, related to the four sensors. But uh, so we Ilhamdit developed a, a new method of uh, transformation matrix to uh, this compensator skew angles. And then finally the uh, their coordination uh, right. This is uh, uh, improved the method uh, equation for transformations. So also, uh, this is a CD player control system story in Japanese. You can see the three electrodes at the forehead. Sorry, uh, limited time, I'll skip this. So also the, uh, uh, also 3D coordinate for, uh, positioning operation systems. Uh, potential signals pointed out the uh, uh, desired position and move to the, uh, so, also, manu end of manipulators uh, control via EOGs and uh, upside, up and down, and the right and left.
So also the uh, this is a t uh, two dimensional control via EUDs. So EUG from uh, estimated uh, uh, desired position and uh, move to the uh, manipulator to the operator's desired positions. So also this is a previous Ilhamdi's experiment. Uh, he extended to two-dimensional to three-dimensional. Uh, from side view and top views. So also, this is Armony's experiment. So step by step and uh, uh, down and uh, down and down. And this byte EMG related to the uh, hand grasping and then up and up. And move to left and left and then put the point. So also, this is a EMG control experiment attached to an electrode to the hand and uh, uh, estimated the uh, uh, motion to same motion to view the uh, monitors. If we press this uh, monitor to the via robot and we can control the robot hand. So uh, I would like to make a conclusion of my talk. So we can operate some machines and robots by using uh, uh, biopotential signals, uh, especially the EOGs, from on-off control to sub-controls uh, and on-demand controls. So how to distinguish malfunctions? So uh, biopotential signals means uh, we can uh, usually come out uh, these signals and uh, we should distinguish malfunctions. So we need a more basic knowledge about the biopotential signals and uh, human motions and uh, emotions. So future work is uh, from implicit knowledge to continued knowledge. So we should apply to life support and well-being system and uh, also training system for artisans and uh, transmit traditional to uh, posterities. So also uh, Ilhamdi applied to the, this kind of biopotential signal to famous badminton player and uh, beginners badminton players. And then uh, how to run the uh, from beginner to expert or something. So uh, I would like to ask a final question, what's next from robot to cyborg. This is a, a famous uh, uh, movie of uh, Firefox for robot uh, airplanes. And uh, this is a Japanese anime cyborg, Zelda 9 and uh, so also RoboCup and uh, uh, my girlfriend is cyborg is uh, Japanese movies. Uh, thank you for your attention and uh, sorry, uh, a lot of trouble happens. So, <laughs> thank you, Hamdi. Thank you, uh, Professor Sasaki. Uh, very uh, interesting uh, talk, and we know that. Japan face uh, a struggle condition with egging society and mm -hmm. this situation happened also to the ASEAN country other mm -hmm. but in Indonesia at this time we still have enough uh, birth uh, new baby born uh, mm -hmm. but we don't know next time I think almost all country mm -hmm. will find the same situation mm -hmm. so uh, by a 
potential is one of the another solution to help people with disabled condition. Mm -hmm. So, uh, especially in this situation where people cannot touch each other uh, to operate a uh, machine because of pandemic COVID-19, it's of, of, mm -hmm. for sure that we need uh, alternative methods to operate mm -hmm. machine. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we will give a uh, a chance for uh, participant if maybe someone has want to want mm -hmm. to ask or discussion we mm -hmm. please participant in the room we have uh, more than 200 participant right now if someone okay. want to ask professor sasaki please just uh, active your speaker your mic morning okay. sir Good morning. Yes, please. Yeah. Please your name, your name and institution. Yeah, good morning, Pa Ilham. Uh, my name is yeah. Asbi Fadli. My honor to meet you in this conference. Uh, good morning, Mr. Please. Minoru. Mm -hmm. uh, my, uh, I'm very amazed with uh, this technology since uh, it will be appropriate solution for helping disabled or other solution, uh, other problem. Uh, my question is, uh, what is about the safety of this technology for human? I saw in the video there was a uh, tools that stick in human head uh, to move a robot or something. Uh, is there electric signal that can impair the human head if applied in long duration? So uh, that is a very uh, important point. So uh, think about now the most of robot for industry. Uh, used and uh, not stop, not yet service robot and uh, uh, that is uh, so uh, low problems. So at first we should make uh, uh, so liability low or something, right? And how how to uh, give the responsibility if happens a uh, uh, accident or something. So same as uh, uh, autonomous uh, car uh, control or something. So after the making the legal uh, problem, uh, then we should uh, also, the, for example, the industrial robot is uh, uh, over the motor's uh, output. So if a personal user service robot is, uh, we now the limited, uh, uh, output power less than, for example, uh, 30 watt. If uh, robot touch the uh, human beings or something, at this time uh, no accident happens. It's a uh, soft touch or something. So uh, you can see the Ilhamdi's experiment. That robot is uh, uh, flexible. It's uh, we think about uh, so service robot or uh, uh, welfare robot. It needs some uh, a robot is not rigid but uh, flexibility. Okay, is that okay? Okay, okay. I ever uh, saw the Ilham uh, innovation for your chair. Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you, uh, Bapak Asbi Fadli from uh, Universitas Indonesia, Indonesia University of Indonesia. Yes, okay, please. I have uh, question. I have question. Please, uh, Bapak Firman Ridwan, please. Yes. Thank you uh, for my opportunity to uh, ask question. This research mm -hmm. is very interesting, actually. Mm -hmm. And we, uh, as I saw in the video, when we control uh, our mind, can we translate? Mm -hmm. uh, like, you know, translating uh, the mind from, uh, you know, moving left and right. Is it possible, like, you know, instead of changing, uh, moving the video, we translate into sentence or word. For example, mm -hmm. like a uh, uh, robot arm, when we're thinking about moving the object from one to another, and then we translate into some, you know, sentences instead. Mm -hmm. 
means this very important for you know uh, someone who got uh, for example like who got uh, stroke disease mm -hmm. and very difficult to to saying something and just by thinking and mm -hmm. translate into the sentence and we know other people knows that what uh, the victim uh, thinking about something like that, mm -hmm. like that. so can you catch uh, my question well, yes and uh, so current situation of uh, uh, research uh, by potential signals has not so accuracy so we need a more uh, research about uh, uh, I said to you the from uh, on off control to the sub control sub control needs a more uh, information to so how fast or uh, how uh, long or uh, something like that it need a more information we, we can uh, we should pick uh, more information about, uh, uh, for example, brainwave and the EOG and the EMG. But uh, EOG has uh, uh, a lot of possibility for more accuracy than other uh, biopotential signals. So, uh, for example, the, uh, we... <laughs> sorry. We showed the showed the uh, result of uh, uh, two-dimensional control. It has a uh, uh, good accuracy, but uh, a lot still uh, lack of uh, accuracy. We need a more uh, research for uh, that situation. Is that okay? Right? Uh, okay. So the Baba Firman Ridwan asked uh, instead of uh, controlling. A robot using our brain is it possible to transfer our brain signal into text into text so can we give information to uh, people from our brain so if we are thinking the signal convert to text instead of moving robot uh, uh, so still uh a lot of people uh, doing research about such kind of things not yet uh, realize such kind of situations. Uh, we should Thanks. more research about such kind of things. Is that okay? Thanks. And also okay. the, uh, another problem is uh, brain, uh, using brain waves. Brain waves means uh, uh, it depends on individualities. So uh some people are uh, different from the uh their background at uh, this time the <laughs> brain waves uh, different uh, outcomes and that is problems so yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so if uh, we did the uh, same novels and but uh people think about the different feeling and the different emotions that is problems also Okay, uh, because of time, we will give the last uh, chance for participant. If you want to give, uh, ask question or... Uh, Harisan, I, have one. I saw you. <laughs> Harisan. Harisan. Uh, hey. <laughs> ah, ah, special uh, guest from Kenya. Please uh, ask your... Uh, Ah, uh, okay. I just came in uh, midway when uh, Professor Saki was presenting. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, but it's the topic I think uh, you are an expert in uh, uh, under the professor. <laughs> so I'll not make a comment now. I'll just maybe join and uh, listen. Eh? Uh, I okay. don't know if the video is clear. Okay. I'm not very sure. I'm in office oh. now. <laughs> Thank you for attending. Oh. Uh, uh, thank you. <laughs> okay, please, another. Thank you, Arisan. Uh, thank you, Trihan. <laughs> please, uh, I have, Mr. I have one question, moderator. Uh -huh. Please, uh, Prof, please. Uh, Prof, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, 
uh, Prof. Uh, Sasaki, um, yes. I think you are addressing very interesting uh, global issues on aging. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have highlighted the human interaction uh, mm -hmm. to, to, be, to be explored. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And uh, in doing this, um, it requires, uh, among other things, it requires a lot of things. Among other things, it requires, for example, uh, programming skill, uh, graph, graphical user interfacing. Mm -hmm. uh, so now, my, my question is that, in order to address this, um, what, are, what, what is the way forward uh, in education? For example, if you could highlight in Japan, is mm -hmm. there any changes or upgrade of the curriculums to kind of highlight uh, the way forward along these lines. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, it's uh, so not yet uh, uh, going ahead, but uh, our laboratory try to do uh, uh, STEM uh, education, uh, science, technology, and mathematical art, and something. It's uh, so. Uh, Maybe uh, human beings' education started to the making something, and uh, so, uh, w but making something needs a lot of uh, uh, technology field. For example, mechanical, electrical, uh, programming, and something like that, and also art and mathematics. And uh, if through the this education, we can uh, naturally get uh, such kind of uh, performance, and but it takes a long time, and uh, so we also uh, technological education needs a uh, uh, budget and money, and uh, so how to keep uh, that uh, government should support uh, this kind of education for next generation of uh, uh, technologies. If stopped and uh, something wrong, we can not solve the so uh, population increasing uh, uh, elderly people and uh, also uh, coronavirus and a lot of things. But uh, if we have the creativity and the new technologies and uh, maybe uh, we will be able to solve the, this kind of problem. It, it, is that uh, okay yeah, for? It's good. It's, good. it's, good. it's, okay. it's okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Nasir Tamin, uh, one of the our keynote speaker. Okay, uh, okay. Professor uh, Sasaki Sensei. So, because of time, uh, it's already tough past ten in Padang City now. So, thank you very much for your presentation. It's very nice and very interesting. We hope uh, participant. I, I'm sure the participant will get uh, many knowledge and I hope, uh, I know that you, you are open for this discussion outside this room or for other. So thank you very much. Uh, and we will give the time for the committee again. Please committee, I hand over this mic for you. Thank you, Sasaki Sensei. I appreciate it. thank you. Please committee. This committee. 